Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Today we will talk about uh, Atara Biotherapeutics Incorporated, invented at Nasdaq, ticker name Atra. Well, um, what is important to note here that the video analysis was already done for this one previously, and I'm happy to say that indeed it went as discussed. Actually, there was a breakage of the sending channel here that started from mid of November of previous year. And shortly speaking, actually, it was the breakage of this channel. And now what is actually important, so this was the breakage, classical one, and the price went higher. Now the question is, what's next? Okay, we were able to make profit here from 10 to 15%, even more. And the question is, will it con really continue growing? So we will make kind of a U-shape or zigzagging actually going really higher here, or are we going to have actually the pattern like this? So there will be some rebounds and then making the parallel next uh, descending correction channel. Well, here both are possible because still um, we, we need to, to confirm the, the final change of the trend. We really need to break this uh, resist level, let's say, which also coincides slightly with moving average 200. Here we can magnify a little bit. And once this is taking place, we have a final confirmation. Still what might be happening, uh, because it's still possible, because you can see all moving averages are tending upwards, moving average 20, 50 here, turning upwards, moving average 200. So overall it looks like we are going to go to stable growth regime when moving average 20 will be on top, then 50 and 200. And the price will be bouncing on top of moving average 20. But before this happens, some volatility might take place. So we need to be prepared for that. Therefore, let's discuss how to trade here further. And of course, uh, we still don't want to miss the possible immediate growth, but also we want to take into account possible volatility, volatility. especially if you look at after hours trade, it looks like we might decline a little bit. Therefore, here, uh, because you can see this long, uh, let's magnify again, you can see this long um, candle, then cor small correction, long candle, small correction might take place again. Therefore, it would be advised to buy a little bit lower here, so this will be the first channel being between quite narrow here, but uh, quite nice to buy between 14.89 and 15.37. So let's it, let's write it down here for ourselves as a call out, and this will be again a 14.89, 15, 15, sorry, 37. So this is the the first level to buy, expecting the continuation of growth and going all the way, at least till moving average, let's say 200, which will be in the vicinity of 16.58. This way, may, allowing us to make at least 10 to 15 percent profit, and that would be our profit note in this opinion video. So, once you do 10 to 15 percent from all money allocated in the position, just take it, don't hesitate, re enter if needed but uh, take it because the profit taken is taken indeed and if you wait too long you might lose an opportunity actually to make it eventually and for middle long term traders let's say the first better level or bigger level of price target will be about 1953 here would be real battle taking place making kind of a u-shape and maybe going for cup and handle formation so we'll see but for midterm traders, this would be the level to trade if you want. Also, you see all other parameters are boosting, like RSI is going to over both areas slowly. Um, MACD is finishing the one upward wave, meaning that it might still go lower. That's why we're preparing to buy a little bit lower, but overall could be bouncing, making upward waves, upwards waves as well. So with this being said, we need to think of the second technical level, meaning that instead of growth, we will turn to formation of next descending channel and then it would mean we actually need to be prepared to buy at the more stronger lower levels which is the principal level here would be between 12.02 and 12.87 so let's write it for ourselves a bit lower though but that's actually the level where we need to be buying if we create a um, second corrective uh, channel Okay, might be happening. If happens, no problem, then we know what to do. We just buy there again and we sell on rebound. So let's move this one here for our convenience. So uh, these are then two levels to buy. 
And then, all, as always, we talk about the third level, which is the risk mitigation due to negative catalyst. Not really expected to have it here, but if anything takes place, then it means we just need to go to the very principal levels to buy there through and to be ready actually to average down. So with this being said, we just need to look at the levels that were formed here. Clearly, very strong support line. And this would be actually between um, 883 and 1007. So here we can keep some funds to average down in case we have any negative, bad negative catalyst, not expected at all. It's not that we predict that price, but it means that we just want to have some funds to buy there because if doomsday scenario takes place and price will be dropping, everyone will be exiting with losses while you will be just buying through, averaging down and preparing to take a 10-15% profit at the rebound. So this is the way how we mitigate our risks. We don't do stop losses, so we don't want to gain time by selling money, but we want to, let's say, gain money by spending or selling a little bit more time. That's why we wait for lower levels and buy full non-linearly and that's why we're not really interested on 15 minute candles by but on the daily candles where we look at the very principal levels where we buy through and average down on non-linearly so if you like this way of trading this way of risk mitigation don't forget to subscribe and the last thing which we need still to talk here about is how to buy through well uh, here it's a classical buy as you know classical buy means we buy with five portions so it means that usually when the first level is very strong, we buy with five portions. It means that the money we'd like to split here, it's advised that you buy with one portion. You can split in five and then you buy with one portion in the first level. And if we decline to the secondary level, then you can buy with another two portions. And if there is any negative catalyst kicking in, you can buy with the remaining two portions in the third level and then easily rebounds and make your target profit from 10-15% from all money allocated in the position. So this way we mitigate major risks here, two technical and one, um, let's say, catalyst, negative catalyst related. And then yes, should be uh, maybe taking a bit more time, but in the worst case scenario, as exiting with the draw, the best case scenario making money. So this way of trading, you spend time, but you don't spend your money usually. And if you like this way of trading, which is mainly for either big traders or for, let's say, traders who trade as a secondary income of source, follow us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and, new, and even more interesting discussions for US-based stocks.